So I was able to go to a local book sale today. It's one of the largest book sales in my home state, and it happens twice a year. It's something that I look forward to in the months leading up to it. And even today, I was so excited. I got there an hour early, stood in line, and got, I think, 10 different books. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've kind of made it a personal goal to get through a lot of the Pulitzer Prize winning novels. The Pulitzer Prize was established in 1918. Many of the books from that long ago have been forgotten, including the very first winner, uh, Ernest Poole's His Family. Ernest Poole was an author that I reviewed um, a couple videos ago for his book The Harbor, uh, and that is a book that I do recommend in general. But today, today I got The Grapes of Wrath. So this is a book that I've read before. I really, really love this book. I love John Steinbeck. I think that he his writing is just so American uh, and so beautiful. And he definitely has such perspective of um, a lot of issues that today are coming up more and more. I feel like his books could be used as kind of, I don't know, a rallying cry for Bernie Sanders supporters today or something. Um, I really love this book and I am planning to review this in a future video. The next book did not win the Pulitzer Prize, but the author did win the prize for a later book. He's an author that I really, really love. Uh, he's become one of my favorite writers, someone that I just discovered this year. But Bernard Malamud is a Jewish American writer, and I believe that this is one of his first books. It won the National Book Award in 1959. Uh, the book that I've read that did win the Pulitzer Prize was called The Fixer. Uh, that's a book that is, I think, one of the best books I've ever read. It's another one that I plan on reviewing um, because I do have a lot to say about that book. But The Assistant, I'm not actually sure what it's about. The back of it says, um, it tells the story of Morris Bober, neighborhood grocer who wants better for himself and his family, but his, fake, but his fate is his luck. Not good. Instead of a prospective buyer to take the store off his hands, two robbers appear and hold him up. And it goes on. Uh, from what I know about Bernard Malibud, that is very much... Uh, kind of a story of his life. He, his parents were grocers. He lived in New York City across the street from the grocery store. So I'm looking forward to reading this, which is, like I said, one of his first books. The next book, which I'm very surprised I have not read before, is Beloved by Toni Morrison. I've never even actually tried to read this book. A lot of people around me have read it, and said that it's one of the best books they've read. I know the New York Times tried to put together a list of best American fiction from the past uh, maybe 50 years or maybe 100 years. And this one in the little survey that they put together for that list. I have read one of Toni Morrison's more recent books, um, her book called Home. I have to say I did not really enjoy that very much, but I know that it's very, very different from Beloved. Book number four, which I have also read this one, I just don't own a copy, is The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay by Michael Chabon. This is different from the edition that I used when the first time that I read it. And truth be told, I before I finally finished this book, I had tried to read it probably three or four times, and I had even tried to listen to it on audiobook um, multiple times. I will say that when I finally got through this book, I really loved it. It made me want to reread it. The ending is one of the best endings that I know of. So, since I have read this, I'm also planning to make a review in the future. Book number five, which is from the year 2007, is The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde. Um, to be honest, I don't know anything about this book. Book number six is Olive Kitteridge, uh, another book that I don't know anything about. I believe there was a 
mini series made after this. Um, so we'll see. I have Gilead by Marilyn Robinson. I have tried to read this book once before and failed. Um, I've read, I did read her first book, and I wasn't in love with it. It was a bit too slow moving for me, <clears throat> and not enough um, agency of plot, I would say. And the time that I did try to read this book, I was feeling kind of the same way. I think it may have just been the place that I was in when trying to read it. I wasn't focused. I wasn't patient enough with myself. So I am going to give this another try. From 1970, from 1971, I got Wallace Stegner's Angle of Repose. Um, this is another one I know absolutely nothing about. I honestly have never even heard of Wallace Stegner, which is bad. But the woman um, at the desk where I, when I bought this said that she loved him and he's one of her favorite writers. And I learned that he's written a number of other books, so I have high hopes. Next we have The Color Purple by Alice Walker. Um, I'm also surprised I've not read this before. It seems like a book that I um, would have picked up a, when I was younger or maybe read in school, but I think we read uh, A Raisin in the Sun instead of this book. The next book is two novels in one, and it is John Updike's The Rabbit Novels. Uh, there are four novels in this series, and these are the last two. Um, I did try to read the very first of these novels, and again, I just wasn't patient enough. Uh, and then a friend of mine said that he hated the books. So I'm also curious whether I should read the first two novels before reading the third and fourth, or if I can just read them as standalone novels. So, like I said, some of those books are ones I've already read and that I plan to do reviews of. Other ones I'm planning to read in the next few months, and we'll do reviews of those as well. 